What's up everybody, it's Chris from Talking With Experts Podcast, your host, The Expert Whisperer, or otherwise known as your best brand advocate. This podcast is all about finding experts in marketing, entrepreneurship and coaching to give you actual strategies that will help you grow your business. This week we have Pratham Wakmari, one of India's youngest internet marketers. He has made a name in the field that is mostly dominated by people in their 30s and 40s by helping those businesses of all sizes succeed with sales funnels and Facebook ads. This week he'll be sharing how he grew his social media marketing agency and some of the habits and principles that has served him well in life and business. Okay, so thank you, Preston, for joining me on Talking With Experts this week. It's, uh, I'm, I'm so excited for this one because we haven't, we haven't connected for a while now and um, I, I'd love to know where, what, what's happening with you right now. I, I know we vis- I visited you in India, oh, maybe two years ago, maybe two years ago, but yeah, approaching three. And yeah, I want to know, I want the people to know who you are as a person, and I also want them to know what you're doing right now. So Awesome, man. So first of all, thank you so much for having me, and it's a very, it's a huge pleasure to talk with you, because you, like, we connect on a personal level, you know, like, you know that, and uh, it's amazing, actually. So it was a very, it was a great honor for me to, you know, be in your podcast. And uh, yeah, man, let's do it. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, let's start with, I, I, I know that you have an agency called Red Fire Media. Oh, what, why did you start it? Let's go from there. Okay. So uh, the, ma- the agency name is Red Fire Digital Media, by the way, because the, recently I can also see someone there is Red Fire Media also. So people will get confused. It's not Red Fire Media. It is Red Fire Digital Media. So uh, when I started, I started in 2016. I was 17 years old. And then when I started, like, uh, basically, like, a little bit background, if I tell you, like, uh, when I was one month old in 1999, my father died due to a heart attack. And then uh, I was like, when I was 17 years old, obviously my mom forced me to study and all like she wanted, like she was concerned about my career and all. Now then I was like, the problem is, see, I was not bad at studies. I was not like excellent either. I was a pretty average student in, in studies. And, but like, did I like studies or not? I didn't like studies. So I was like, man, I'm not gonna do that shit. So, and then I dropped out. Uh, I was at like, you know, 12th, at that time I just dropped out and then yeah I mean you know like that's how it worked and that's how it like that's how the journey started from there and then uh, I started researching on you know like Google like how (laughs) to make money online because see money was very important thing for me at that time for in my family specifically and then uh, I I just you know like research a lot on Google like how to make money and all and then there were like 99% of the things on internet when it comes to making money online is is, is just scam actually mm-hmm. so then I learned uh, then what happened was you know then I saw this guy's ad like Ty Lopez you know like yes. Ty Lopez, how to like uh, SMM8 at that time he was like the biggest you know he was the most popular at that time you know now he doesn't really focus too much on that things but uh, now like what happened 2016 I saw his ad like you know this here in my garage ad then I was like I I saw like what exactly this is I was like what does this guy do exactly you know Mm. so then what happened was uh, I saw that thing and then uh, I got into like I like I saw his sales video and all like his his training like how how he does it and all that and then I was like, man, this is the thing. He's like, you know, you can get paid like two thousand, three thousand dollars per month per client for just managing the social media, you know, uh, building advertisements and whatnot, right? So I was yeah. like, at that time, I didn't even know what is a social media marketing agency and whatnot. And then um, I just started, you know, and then I I didn't have money to buy his course, obviously at that time. So I just started on my own. Uh, I researched on YouTube how it's done. And mostly people, like now looking back, they don't really have a good amount of knowledge. Like mm. being, speaking from ex, like see, speaking from experience now, people really don't have knowledge in it. Like not not everyone obviously, but like most people don't. Whoever is making SMM videos, they're either trying to sell you something or you know it's just like they want views. You know, like it's just yeah. either of that. 
they are most probably not a real agency owner because a real agency owners they don't really have a youtube channel they don't like they don't do anything like that then it's like 2016 2017 went by like two years completely went by and then by end of 2017 not end i mean like just like july august around yep. there, somewhere around there i started getting clients you know like i mean after like researching after working continuously for two years then i was like then i started getting clients and then you know i started charging low amount like uh, $200 $300 and it was a uh, it was that for a long time you know it was mm-hmm. like 2 to $300 for a long time because i didn't have any like uh, uh, confidence in myself at that time you know that i can pitch like $2000 or something But, like that and i can remember you had so much confidence when i saw you um and so oh, yeah, you, yeah. that you, was this is how, this is how you sell this this is this is how you do <laughs> yes, <laughs> you did <exactly. laughs> so yeah, so basically then what happened was 2017 i started getting uh, clients as i said they, uh, then i started getting uh, basically i started doing the work for my clients and then once i started doing the work for my clients then like you know they started getting results mm-hmm. but then more like you can say half of my clients they didn't get results in the beginning because i was a beginner you know at that time mm-hmm. uh, so and in the beginning also a lot of clients had asked me for a refund you know like i mean i was a very uh, like a beginner you know like and all all companies obviously give refunds in the beginning obviously and all, mm-hmm. later parts as re, later stages as well but then 2017 then uh, like it was like something really like you know um that like changed me as a person you can say in in, okay. in business because that was like a like complete 2017 was like a learning experience you can say what well, was the then, experience like the meaning like you know like when you fail that is when you learn you know like when it's like when, you know like uh, the saying like when you when you fail you ponder and all success comes from pondering right so mm-hmm. it's like that so basically the thing is that 2017 was not like a, it was actually success because i was first time started making money my mom was completely shocked i was getting like in india i mean like even if you get 300 dollars let's say like as a complete beginner for one client you are like making 20 to 22000 rupees something like that and when that kind of money hits in the account for the first time when you have your bank account is like let's say 200 rupees which is like 3 dollars and then from 3 dollars completely that to like 300 dollars <laughs> now it's like you know like everyone is happy in the family and then you know then you feel like you have cheat codes to life literally you feel <laughs> amazing you know like the the when you make money for the first time in life i mean that's like the best feeling ever you know like that's like the best feeling ever it's like it's not i can't even explain it in words and then basically you can say um 2018 i went to bangalore mm-hmm. um you know like one of my biggest clients uh, at that time bigger not biggest like one of my big clients at that time uh you know like we had meetings there and then i was in bangalore for 2000 like from 2018 mid to then 2019 in the beginning yep and that's when we met you know in the beginning of 2019 and okay. yeah i mean that's how it happened then i started like at this point i just was scaling my companies like i was uh, i only had that one company my you know red yeah. digital and then uh, i really started focusing properly on this agency side and then started scaling it up to more than 10k and so on you know like yeah, then yeah. it was it started becoming fun then fast forward to like last year then this covid thing happened you know all around the world and then i was like i couldn't go out because it was like in 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 india the situation was horrible actually mm-hmm. since last year and yeah, then, like hell <laughs> yeah i know and specifically like in pune if you see like it is one of the worst not now but it was one of the worst i think so it was the worst hit city with covid in india and then basically what happened was in 2020 uh, last year and uh, i think so july somewhere around that sub, somewhere july or yeah. something somewhere around there i built my second company i started my second company at which the age of <laughs> i need to see that bad <laughs> uh but uh, yeah i mean that is uh, get paying clients was started in like last year why i started that was uh, i was having a lot of time in my hand you know like i mean like i didn't know what to do with so much of time i when you can't get out of the house like uh, the whole time you have like so so much of time and i wasn't used to it you know like i'm like i go out with friends every day like it's it's crazy like 
every day like i go out with friends and, and so and you and yeah. you got yourself a new uh motorbike and you, and you couldn't go oh yeah i have way. been so many like at that time when you came i had a bmw g310r and that was my first proper bike and then now i have a speed triple rs which is like my fastest bike it's one of the fastest bike in the world actually and then i have the triumph street twin also and yeah i mean i'm into bikes a lot <laughs> i like like you know it gives a sense of freedom you know you can go anywhere yeah. especially, especially in india the traffic situation is horrible you know yeah. so you, like you can do whatever you want so that is one thing but yeah like last year then and, and you know i have done like a lot of personality tests you know like like uh, proper personality tests uh, where like which scientists have developed and people use in interviews like big companies use these kind of tests in yeah. interviews um i have done these tests and according to the test it shows that i'm like a person which who loves to help people you know so then i was like man you know like if i love to help people then why not i help people because the because you know i was posting my lifestyle on instagram like then yes. what like so many years and then what happened was like people were like man teach me also how to do that then last year i finally started get paying clients and uh, i started teaching people what i have done for the last 4 years and then i started getting client uh, started getting students and then now i have like close to 410 420 students somewhere around there around the world mostly like everyone is from india uh, but yeah and then a lot of students started getting results like uh, that makes me happy so much you know like yes. when you, are, when you like, see someone else getting results but that's exactly. all from you but so let so that's kind of like a history of you um and you you talked about failure at the start what was your biggest failure what was your biggest lesson oh that i need to think let me think i've had a not like like huge failures because i was small in the beginning you know like as a business as as everything i was like tiny you know mm-hmm. like so whenever as a tiny person you can't have like huge failure you know so i've had like tiny tiny failures and as 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 you grow big you will have like big failures obviously right like it's proportionate with how big you are it's like that you know okay. like so that that's the thing so i haven't really had some failure like see biggest failure i've had is like when you know like this uh, when you came last year you know like uh, because of my stressful routine at that time then you know like i had like this stomach issue i had yeah. at that time yeah. uh, that was the only like issue actually because i don't really thankfully like face any issue with health and all but yeah i mean that time it was like pretty bad and i i love to play football so i couldn't really play football at that time because you know like i was i don't know man because of eating outside food I, like mm-hmm. it was crazy it was horrible at, in, at that time then i learned it's just a learning experience you know it's just like a learning experience i can say and yeah as, especially if you're growing a business you don't want to be in yes. you don't want to have poor health or a poor mindset yeah so the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So i that, mean the you know like when when you go out like this is like something i can tell for everyone is like whenever let's say you guys are traveling and not only traveling traveling is fine but whenever you're like shifting to another place i mean like for me it was like the first time in my life like i'm not eating my mom's food you know so then i mean i was like ordering like every single day from outside and then that's what basically if your health gets ruined your life gets ruined completely like your wealth gets ruined because you cannot properly focus on your wealth then like everything else from that just falls apart you know and that is like the biggest lesson even though it was not for me also it was like not like the biggest like mm-hmm. i mean thankfully like but it was the biggest if i see like if i look back from now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, in terms of i know you you you've grown a business in red fire digital media and now you've started a new one because of covid um how did you what were like the steps or what advice would you give somebody who has an agency and wants to like step away from that and start something else got it so see the main thing is like see when it comes to agency the main thing is the consistency like that and then following something creating your own blue ocean is like something very important i believe like everyone like let's say you go on youtube you see like the one of the most uh, what do you say popular niches is real estate like people just want to do ads for real estate agents they want to do ads for like chiropractors they want to do for dentists and all these like these six seven niches like don't get into already like as a beginner if you get into a red ocean you know mm-hmm. if you get into something which is so much saturated 
first of all it becomes very difficult to close clients and then it also becomes difficult to get results yeah you know so yeah. my thing would be choose get into something where are not are not a lot of people are in and the, the best thing is that there are enough niches especially if you see smma there are enough niches in the world where you, there are like thousands of different niches actually you know so but people because of these youtubers everyone will just see and then the first page on youtube they the same the same people the same videos and that's why everyone is in chiropractor real estate yeah. and all these things so that is the problem i can say and then also one thing would be like never be stubborn with like uh, with a niche also i can say like you know like when you're just starting out don't directly start with a niche because i would recommend evolving it to a niche like let's say if you're a, if you're working as a let's say you want to start an agency you should start it as a generalist you know like start mm-hmm. it as a generalist then go niche specific because that is the fastest way like to to do that i i i would believe uh, and your and your purpose would find you 100% yeah. so it's like yeah. when when you get clients then you will know what kind of clients are the best you know like what kind of clients have ha- have been like the happiest with your agency with your services and then you just repeat you try to duplicate those kind of clients those those niches and then that's how it like becomes a monster in the in the long run you know that's yeah. how it works and what is your process for getting clients I, i don't know how much you want to share today but uh give me something that's not uh paid <laughs> yeah no no that's fine so basically <laughs> i get clients through like uh, you can say the three main uh platforms we have we use on a day to day basis is three so which is like linkedin instagram and facebook and uh, you can like for example you know it's very instagram specifically is very forgiving when it comes to like dming people mm-hmm. it's not very restrictive as like let's say linkedin or facebook you know so instagram is pretty good so when you can just search hashtags it's not like some rocket science the problem is like this is the biggest thing what i can say when it comes to like closing clients and you know like starting out closing clients as a beginner it's all about not the way okay it's not about like see there are 10 different ways you know more than 10 different ways like cold calling cold emailing dming people friend requesting and talking talking like you know talking with <laughs> them having a conversation scheduling a call closing uh linkedin the same thing you know connecting then chatting and then uh, scheduling calls but it's not as as simple as that you know it's all about you choose one method and then you master that one method meaning like if you are dming people on instagram you need to really like you need really need to get it work you know like you need to make it work you know like you need to uh, do it enough so that you know what happens is that it just starts working for you basically yes. but then people what they do is one biggest thing what i can say is people are very stubborn like they just keep like they'll prepare like a template and then what will happen is they'll they'll prepare a template they'll just keep doing it every single day they'll not improvise you know when you don't improvise then you fail actually why you fail technically you are persistent like you're doing every mm-hmm. day the same thing but until you don't improvise until you don't do something which is like new you know like something which is like let's say you do like this message you see kind of what kind of response you're getting but unless you don't change it like if you're mm-hmm. not getting good responses if you're not getting people to schedule a call with you in order to close right you know in order for you to close then i mean you're doing something wrong in the chat itself and that is the main reason what i do in get paying clients it's like it's not a course it's a it's a mentorship program so in get paying clients like see i've had like like thousands of conversations with like 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 these you know like with when i'm trying to get a client and all and i have done like hundreds of sales calls in my in my agency career so basically what happens is that in get paying clients i just teach them like you know like i have this experience and you know they come on a zoom mm-hmm. call with me the students and then i can give exact pointers of what they can improvise on and that is the main thing like that is literally like the main thing you know like how they because see in an agency the only two things which matter there are only two things one is setting appointments and closing appointments you need to set appointments you need to close appointments that's it you know like mm-hmm. and once you close the appointment the only thing what then matters is getting results yes. that is the only thing which matters so yeah so so if that is the case which it is um how then do you get results for your clients do you because yeah, so, i know you spoke about before a long time ago you said about 
contracting or outsourcing do you yeah. is that something that you still do yeah so basically what i do is see now that in my agency it's a bit different for beginners it might be different like i'm in a, not in the beginner level obviously mm-hmm. right so for beginners what i would suggest is that and also tell what i do right now but first i'll tell for beginners so beginners what they can do in the beginning see charge a low amount and then uh, like you can see there are two different options you can charge a decent amount and then outsource to a contractor or you can charge a low amount and then do it for yourself you know like do it yourself basically so that those are the two ways and what i do right now is i like i have a team which does the work i also do the work and i my team also does the work so it's both but we don't right now outsource because i have the in house team right now so yes. that's all yes yeah. and i think at that the stage when i was in india you had a team of three people i think yeah so yeah three all people. did it together and and now you've got your own team so for for those that are listening what kind of results have you seen in the lap from the age of 16 to the age of how old are you 22 22 yeah so in those 8 years uh, what kind of results no, have you seen years. No, yeah. no. like 5 years is Six what years. i remember <laughs> Six, not yeah. 16 sorry not age of 16 17 it was 17. 2016 okay but i was 17 so 5 years you can okay 5 years so what kind of results have you seen for your agency for my agency meaning like the client results or what like or my But specific your results and your client's results so basically like for my let's say for my client results the main thing is see this is the biggest misconception people think you know you want to make them like couple hundred grand with your ads and all that it's not that that's not how it works what you need to do is you just want to get that person from place a to place b that's it and that is what i have been successful in doing you know like i and you need to set expectations like very like like the right expectations whenever mm-hmm. you're closing clients i've never said hey you know i can make a lot of money for you like if i do these facebook ads and google ads and what not no 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 that's not what i do it's like that's not what i say to them so what i do i say is i i don't set uh, like expectations at all actually like i don't set ex- meaning like i just say i just give some progression like uh, like you know the like uh, what do you say this this is the this is what you can expect something okay, like yeah. that I the world. um but uh, i give them that uh, but i don't like set like expectation that this is if you meet this criteria then only you will continue to work with me in the next month i don't do that so that is the thing basically and uh, you can say yeah i mean so that i have been very successful in doing because earlier i used to like give a lot of expectations and then that's the reason i refunded many clients you know in yes. the beginning yeah. that everyone does in that agency in the beginning so unless they have a mentor you know obviously but then in my yeah, in my life obviously like i have had a lot of success personally i have done very well for myself and um, yeah i mean i recently bought another property actually you know like in pune and yeah but i don't want to like actually you know one thing i was this person in the beginning like too much like showing off you know like mm-hmm. i don't want to like i believe now i believe it's like too much you know like i, I think i i mean it's you know like i don't want to give like i don't want to show so much what i have buying what i'm doing and yes. you know, this and that but yeah. last five years if I, Say briefly, yeah. I mean, I've made like crores and crores of money. Like in India, that's what we call, let's say, one forty k dollars. This is one crore, and yeah, that's what we say. So yeah, so that's <laughs> the thing I can say. But yeah, I mean, I've bought like a good car, the BMW GT. I've I've had so many different super bikes till now, and yeah, I mean, is I don't personally, I don't have a big ap- appetite when it comes to like spending money for myself. I am very satisfied person. You know, I'm like a yes. more like a realistic person you know mm-hmm. i don't like to spend much on clothes and all so yeah i also like help people a lot like financially and all that so yeah that's yeah, that, that's that was one character that i well there's one thing you taught me you you said um be frugal be be sensible with your money don't uh i think i can remember you saying are you a spender chris <laughs> and in your case you're a saver you though the investments you've made in real estate have been thought well thought out and you can afford to do that because yes. you're you're good like, habits 
it's basically like you know i was spending so 2019 was the year i spent completely like i just spent all of my money you know and then uh, after that i learned like i spent like so much money i couldn't even believe like i didn't think that i would spend so much of money but i did spend and then i learned my mistake i learned my lesson and from then onwards like i haven't spent anything you know like like i haven't spent like how i used to spend like i yeah. used to make less money than what i'm doing now but but i used to spend more than i'm what i'm doing right now imagine that <laughs> imagine <laughs> so yeah. so for for the i know you you help beginners get into the agency space but for the established business owners that are looking to scale their business what tips do you have for them so the biggest tip what i can say is like having you know like having a consistent like ads going on for you meaning like if you have like a business let's say you never have any day where the ads are shut down or where never obviously have like this time there where uh, you are not doing ads at all actually and ads is something which you don't not like businesses don't need to spend like a ton of money you know like it's mm-hmm. always spend in the beginning whatever you can afford but spend you know it's like that it's like same like giving you know like my mom used to i think so teach me like like even if you have little money just just give you know like just like offer like you know like donate or what you can mm-hmm. say you know, like that's you can help people with money i mean you don't need to be rich to help people with with yeah. money right so it's the same with marketing you don't need to be rich by for doing advertisements you know like like as a business owner uh but businesses like many businesses don't have this problem like not many like not not most some businesses have this problem that they don't need customers for them it's fine uh unless they are stubborn i mean see this there are like different types this is a whole another subject actually like it, let's say a business owner he wants to like like uh, he has enough customers let's say this is mm-hmm. one restaurant it has enough customers let's say now he will be stubborn let's say and he has like he is let's say satisfied with that some people are like now this guy he doesn't need ads but some people are like they want to open up like multiple locations and when you create like when you open up a multi, a, a new location not everyone no one knows about this new location because it just opened up right yes. that's why you you start doing ads so but like yeah that's one of the example so i would say like the biggest tip is like leverage the internet when it comes to getting acquiring customers and be consistent with the ads don't exactly and yeah um what what kind of ads are working for you right now well, mostly it's the lead generation ads actually i am a big big fan of just creating like simplistic ads i don't create some like like crazy funnels or you know like people think like i'm known for funnels actually but i don't create people think that it's all about the funnel design it's not about the funnel design actually it's not about how pretty the funnel looks you can have a pretty funnel and you you can have a shit product on it and it will never sell it will never sell because it's all about the product you know it's all about like it's all about like the offer you know it's not mm-hmm. about the funnel that's why i'm very i am very simplistic with my own funnels and with my clients funnels as well so it's like that's the kind of route i chose yeah and i can remember when we were in india and you you took me through uh the behind the scenes uh you said okay i'm going to work on six clients and i'm going to set a timer and it took you 12 minutes or something to to get through all of them and then said so what do you so what do you want to do for the rest of the day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no you know this is one good that you told me even i forgot that you know like uh, what you guys should do like uh, for everyone is like set a timer like in front of your eyes like don't shut that timer off it should be like let's say if you're doing it on your phone just have your phone on start the timer and start the work that way it's like deep work and fast deep work you know it's like the timer is on it's in front of your face and you just don't want to you would not when a timer is on you would not want to just open up a new tab and go on youtube you know you would not want yeah. to do that so that is when what i do that's one of the biggest things i i think so i should teach this thing actually in get paying class i haven't even thought that like i like from you now i remember that thing <laughs> now set up a timer in front of your face just do the work and you will get the work done so quickly and i have this habit why you know of timers is like i solve this rubik cube you know like i'm world class at it like i solve it in 8 seconds 9 seconds so i have this you know like we time like how whenever i solve i time the 
cube, you know, like how yes. time the solve. Then it's like eight, nine seconds. So like I've had this habit since the last five years only, like uh, since I started getting into cubing. Uh, set a timer, see how much, how fast can I create a campaign for my client? How fast can I build this funnel? So yes. yeah, yeah. So, that's the thing. so it's so it's all about how how efficiently you can do tasks yes. because time is it's about, time is it's important. About, it's, basically you know what it is it's not about productivity you know people think productivity is what you need but productivity is bullshit completely you know like productivity is like you know how it is that you don't need to be productive you need to just get the work done you know and you can then choose to do anything you want to do in the day but the thing is you need to know if you are plateauing let's say if you're plateauing you're making the same money uh, for a while let's say now then it will decline it will not go up because the end of the plateau is, is like a down, you know, like it's a decline. I've always seen in everything in my life, you know, like in health, wealth, everything is that whenever things are going too stable, it, you should at least like 0.1% of also, if you're seeing a growth, it's good. But if you're just seeing the exact down, let's say like this, then a little bit down like this, it's going to go way down after that, you know? So the mindset you need to have, if it's, if you're not going up, you're going down. Yeah. So um re would you say personal development would would help investing in the business would help uh what are the tips could you give to to get to get out of the plateau get out of what sorry plateau okay so basically what i can say is uh i think you got frozen yeah now you're back uh, your screen was frozen actually sorry so uh to get in, let's say if you're in a plateau you need to do something to improve man i mean it's like mostly what why a plateau occurs is you're doing the same thing and that's why the plateau occurs or if something you're doing is automated then you haven't paid attention enough that is when uh, the plateau occurs and it's, it's not too hard to get to 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 you know like to have a growth phase after a plateau so yes. yeah it's all about the focus you need to start again you know properly focus because um, you know beginning of the plateau is like it's even like, like this is like the beginning of the plateau right i mean you start from the ground and the, then it goes up right so the fact that you came up at least right that shows that you can go even more up so that is the main thing <laughs> yeah yeah that, that, yeah that makes sense and, and yes. as well, if you can achieve results for one client, you can achieve results again for a different client. Yes. Uh, but it's always in talking back about the being creative. Mm -hmm. being no, creative. it's all about, you know, it's all about actually just following a proven process. Meaning if you're doing any ad, I would only stick with this kind of a process. And then, I mean, I can't like do ads for all the types of niches, obviously, right? Like, not even like 10 different niches or not even five different niches mm -hmm. because it's all about doing this one thing. I mean, for example, this company, Apple, you know, like my phone, like you must be having, everyone has like Apple phone. So like, let's say if you're using an iPhone now, if you tell Apple to, let's say, make a washing machine, you can't, they can't have the world's best washing machine. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, at least not instantly, not at least like as their first product, you know? I mean, not it, it's not impossible for them, but it, it will require them to step out of this phone and uh, MacBook and all this game. You know, they need to step out of it. So that's the thing. So when you are with one, uh, one type of client, just stick with those types of clients, meaning like, let's say it's people who want lead generation and uh, in, in at least don't go out of the complete, like out of the industry. You know, like if you're yep. doing something in the health industry, so if you're doing ads for a chiropractor, you can easily do ads for a dentist, you know? So that's what I'm saying. But don't, but don't do ads for a restaurant because it would, it's not in the same bubble. Yes. No, I mean, you, you're like not encouraged to do it for them because you can, I mean, there's no harm in trying, but you don't have a proven process yet. I mean, if you have a proven process for a chiropractor, the same you can do this like you can go along the same lines and you can have a good result in the dentist as well you yes. know the dentist so yeah so um I, I think i had some questions from somebody else that because i on instagram i put up questions for you specifically oh yeah I saw your so so there's one person i think he is a student or maybe can't afford the course yet 
But he said in the webinar, you talk about a campaign, a lead generation campaign that is working and getting good results. Can we deliver good results with lead generation ads without click, for, click funnels? Mm -hmm. So the one what I taught in the in my webinar is it itself is that what you're referring to. Actually, we don't use a click funnels for lead generation at all. So it's like really a Facebook lead ad. Like when that's the and that's why I haven't shown anything in terms of click funnels in the webinar. So you don't need whenever and that's the best part about it. You know, you're just doing Facebook ads, you're just doing lead generation. And a lead is what it matters to a local business, you know. I mean, the yes. local business without let's say you're going to a restaurant, you'll not pay online before even you go to a restaurant, right? You'll just go and then you'll pay cash or whatever once you go to the restaurant, right? So that is why leads are the only thing. Like the only thing what matters is the appointments, you know, for the yes. business. Yeah, appointment setting yes. and, and appointment closing. Yeah. Yes. So, but you focus on lead generation ads because that's what you're good at. Uh, do, you, do you do any other types of ads or...? It's actually, see, other types is more complicated and I don't like to see, it's a bit difficult also to get very good at something which is more complicated. Like, you know, let's say retargeting, you want to retarget people, you have like the sales page, then you'll have multiple sales pages. Then you'll retarget people who would visit these sales pages. Then you would send an email list. You'll send, you'll send an email to your email list. And then it's like a sequence. And then it's a very, it's like, if you, if I have to draw it on a paper, I mean, it's a, it's not a good thing, yeah. you know? So I focus just on making like, if you have, let's say $1, how to make $2 out of $1. If you can do that, you are a very, very valuable person. You know, it's, that is what matters actually. Yeah. And uh, going back the simplistic approach, keeping it simple and not over complicating the funnel and, um, or any of the process in the system. Yeah. Um, so I know all of that information there would give somebody overwhelm. How do you uh, prevent overwhelm in your life? Or uh, maybe that's, is that that's a, a question? question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically overwhelming, I have had this instances, obviously, like I was overwhelmed, you know, like, you get overwhelmed obviously right like uh, but man i'm always you know i really see the thing is since the beginning thankfully like not since the beginning actually since last few years i'm a person which i really don't give a f about whatever people think about me really like some people now like i've, I've and this ha this has been like more um, amplified in the last couple of months let's say or less last few months because I'm more popular when you met me compared to that, you know, like I wasn't, I think so I had like not even 2000 followers on Instagram when we met in 2019, right? I was just a proper agency owner at yes. that time. And now like 90% of the people who follow me are just to get paying clients, meaning like through my webinar and all that thing. Mm -hmm. So, and then like a lot of people started judging me, like why am I, you know, teaching people and this and that, but that's, then I found out my real myself, like myself, you know, like I'm that's, which is good that I don't give a fuck about anyone. Like I don't give a fuck about like what people think about me. And that is uh, a very important trait for especially a business person to have because you cannot please everyone. In fact, I, my recommendation is be more polarizing. If you can you be more polarizing, if you can be more polarizing, that's even better, you know? So that's one thing what I can say. So, yeah i mean reach out to me i get like 100 plus dms every single day just on instagram it's crazy you know like it's just crazy one day i had a va and the va was just like it had like if i have to show it on the emoji you know that x emoji like on eyes yeah. <laughs> that va was like that so yeah i mean that's how that's how i mean it's like i i always keep my life simple you know like it's mm -hmm. always that's I love simplicity, you know, that's one thing, thankfully, like, because if I wasn't simple, and which I'm like, primarily like simplistic, if I wasn't like that, then I would get ruined because of money at this age, especially if you make a lot of money, like people get ruined completely, you know? Yeah, and you've been really careful with, with your success. And yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, you, you inspire me on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm going to give you 
I just want to say thank you again for your time today. Um, it, it's been great to learn lots of different tips and but I, w I just want to know it, is there anything else that you'd like to share that you haven't thought of or I haven't asked that no so yeah I mean I always have like you know I always have like literally I have everything on top of my head whenever if someone wants like see the main point of me on getting on this interview is like helping people you know whenever I can help people and that's I, I love it you know like and like when we met also you know you wanted like hey you're coming in Bangalore and I'm like yeah man for sure let's meet you know so obviously not a lot I don't do that anymore because I don't meet people anymore personally because <laughs> that time I had like 1700 followers or 2000 followers on Instagram in 2019 and not no one really asked me like this hey let's meet you know and then now it's like on a daily basis people want to meet me and I'm like dude I can't you know yeah. so yeah so but you know one main thing what I can say is there are two types of people in this world one who are just sitting let's say this is see this is the sofa right people are just sitting and just chilling you know people are in their comfort zone and the other half is people who get out of the sofa and just do it right just do it right just achieve what they want now the the people who are sitting on the sofa then they will like criticize the people who are going out and achieving you know that is what happens my goal my basically my what i'm saying is just go out and achieve because you know that is going to give you more satisfaction and happiness in life and that's going to make your life more fulfilled as a person compared to if you're just sitting here watching netflix or doing just you know like and one more thing last thing what i can say after teaching so many students you know why some students don't make it is because of the comfort zone man i mean like they have a comfortable life in their family like they have a food to eat they have everything mm -hmm. you know they have a good laptop they have a good phone they have even a bike everything already if they have then why will they feel like to you know do something so yeah. this is one of the main reason they cannot fuel, fuel their desire until you don't have desire you'll never be able to become successful you know it's like desire is something which just fuels everything you know okay. so yeah don't be in the comfort zone and even if you are like literally actually if let's say someone's life is in shambles or it's like someone's life is not good that person can also be in comfort zone so you need to really it's like a very it's like poison you know comfort is poison because even if you go to gym let's say you need to like lift weights it's not comfortable you know yeah so that's the thing you need to always stay out of the comfort there is like always style of is a very nice quote you know there's a time to stop and smell the roses you know but usually the time is not now you know <laughs> so yeah that is one thing what i can say so just, just lastly just you know go and do the work achieve and most importantly have faith in god and have faith in yourself that is what i can say because until you don't have faith you'll never achieve yeah uh, well yeah thank you for saying that um, so thank you again for your time Prasim. It's, it's great to catch up with you uh, off air and on air uh, i really enjoyed it and um, I can see you're smiling, so yeah. Uh, it's a shame I can't give you a hug, but this is a virtual hug <laughs> from me. Um, I'm going to give you some time now. Uh, I'm going to be quiet to, to promote yourself. Just the floor's yours. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I, see, the thing is, you know, I believe in just giving value. Like, I really don't even want to promote myself. Even if you end the podcast here, also it's fine. But you, they can, like, you know, if someone wants to follow me on Instagram, you can follow. That's what I can do. It's, my Instagram is redfire underscore platform. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Talking With Experts podcast with your host, Chris Camden, and our very accomplished expert, Pratham Wakmari, a dear friend of mine. We hope you enjoyed our chat on social media marketing, Facebook ads, and some high-performance habits that will serve you really well. If, you, if, you, if you're keen to see how these ideas can be applied in the real world, go check out getpayingclients.it. As always, if you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support this podcast, please share it with others on social media. Have a look at the YouTube video, uh, which is doing really, really well on the uh, on the Talking With Experts podcast YouTube channel. And uh, leave a rating review. As always, have a wonderful rest of the week, and I'll speak to you next week. <laughs>